Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's theCUBE. Covering Accelerate 2017. Brought to you by Fortinet. Now, here are your hosts, Lisa Martin and Peter Burris. Hi, welcome back to theCUBE. Silicon Angle's flagship show where we go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. Today, we are in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Lisa Martin, joined by my co-host, Peter Burris. We are with Fortinet at their Accelerate 2017 event, and we're very excited to be joined by one of the keynotes today. Patrice Persh, you are the Senior Executive Vice President of Global Sales and Support. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. You've got a very interesting background. You've got over 20 years of experience in the IT security industry. You manage Fortinet's global sales and support organizations. As the leader of this, you've talked about this morning in the keynote, over 700 partners are here and users here as well. Fortinet is in 93 countries. The theme of the event, no limits. What does that mean to you? What does that mean to your partner and your channel community? Well, definitely this event is uh, critical for us and for our partners. You can see on the background there's a lot of uh, people. So we have a strong representation across the world. So the theme of this event is about uh, the uh, new challenge that we're all facing due to the digital economy, uh, the rise of the uh, IoT, uh, the rise of the uh, virtualization, the cloud, whatever is public or private. So all those new um, promise for the digital economy uh, need to be secure. So security become uh, a big enabler for the future of the uh, digital economy. So, um, which means for our partners and also for customers, security need to be embraced in, in, uh, at a very high level to be able to evolve their business. Uh, so that's really a critical point. So we see um, that the overall uh, network security uh, came and the cyber security came to the, an inflection point where during the last 15 years, they've been built by uh, adding, in fact, point solution, reacting to threats, which led to a very complex environment. And uh, we have also another major challenge, which is the skills shortage worldwide. Uh, so they, they, can, they cannot just face about uh, this new uh, technical challenge. So they have to find a solution where we can automate uh, the protection and the defense. And, and also with the build more uh, collaboration between the community. So, uh, that's all about the, the theme of No Limit and also the launch of our security fabric, uh, which provide this uh, strong coverage, so it's very really broad, we can cover all aspects, whatever is IoT, virtualization, and of course network security. Uh, it's also fed by cybersecurity and intelligence because you, you need to have those information pulled back to the device to be able to react on time to new threats. Uh, and this, this information, it's also very valuable for the business uh, because they can be turned on, on business value. And we know that uh, digital age will be all about data value. So I think it's really a very exciting moment for partners and we have seen that they're growing from last year. I think we added about uh, roughly uh, uh, 16,000 partners worldwide, so we have a big, big number now. Uh, and uh, I think it's really uh, the time to um, reduce the complexity, uh, automate, leverage, of course, the knowledge due to the, the skill shortage we have that partners has as well, and, and be able to enable the, the next age of the digital economy. You had a, a panel on the general session stage this morning of, of CISOs from um, AT&T, Lazard, and Levi's. And one of the things that, that that panel was talking about was you talked about reducing complexity is really we need to talk about, we need to talk about the complexity, right? This is a really critical, uh, to protect these critical infrastructures. So from a complexity perspective, Peter, I'd love to get kind of your thoughts on what you've heard today so far and, and what Fortinet is doing with the security fabric to address that complexity. Well, there's a couple things that I think we need to focus on with relative complexity, and that is, that there are, the business is complex, but then the individual elements that are intended to make business possible are themselves individually complex. And I think one of the things that Fortinet's trying to do is say, let's reduce the complexity of the security so that that does not become a problem or a barrier to the business. There, because today we have data complexity and application complexity and security complexity and, you know, 
organizational complexity and financial complexity, and we need to find strategic and targeted ways to reduce the complexity of individual elements of that so that we can focus more on the complexity of servicing the customer. And I think that that's a key message of what Fort, uh, Fortinet's trying to bring is, what can we do to reduce security complexity or networking security complexity and data security complexity so that we can liberate more talent to focus on the business opportunities. Is that accurate? Yeah, that's definitely the case. We, uh, we see that uh, as soon as we were able to reduce this complexity, uh, we will add value to the business. So, um, and if you look from any large organization on the IT, of course the responsibility of cybersecurity is becoming very important that's at that sea level. Uh, and often, they, they try to go down to the people inside, but you cannot blame the people at the level, whatever they, they click to uh, an email where there's an attachment, so because it's, that's, they have to do, in fact, anyway. So, it's, uh, so the complexity and, and the pressure that are being putting in, inside the organization has to be reduced. Um, and so that's the purpose of uh, building a system uh, with uh, people, knowledge, uh, data, uh, that can react on uh, real time. And that's really the, the, the value of the, uh, the security fabric we have built. So it used to be that, uh, in, you know, as an ex-IT guy, it used to be that the security team was the office of no. Yeah. No, you can't do that. No, we won't let you do that. No, that, and there used to be this strong trade-off between was the initiative going to be secure and how long did it take to actually execute? What I hear you saying, and I want to just confirm this, is that now we're working on how we can collapse the time between opportunity and execution by making security go away as a barrier. If I, if I got that right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think the, the behavior of some of the, um, uh, the, the people in charge of security in the past, during the last 10 years, was they have to face uh, new problems, new threats, and then typically they have bought a point solution. And then we landed with like a, almost like a 35 different vendor into the security environment. And they are not talking each, uh, all together. And in fact, that's just increased the complexity. And, and they landed to a situation where they recognize it doesn't work anymore. And that's in fact increased potentially the risk because there is so much hold on the system. So, uh, and I think the, no, the, the fact that the knowledge uh, that they had, in fact, is becoming a little more spread across the entire organization. It's also a big evolution in terms of the, the mortality. So well, let's, let's build on that, Patrice, because today, most of the threats are, take a long time to develop, they're very sophisticated, so someone will, will, uh, will access or will acquire access to a particular system that may not be very valuable, but they'll use that to get access to another system, and they'll use that to get access to another system, and if the business doesn't have a fabric, as you say, that's cognizant or aware of how all of these different elements play together, then you are facilitating someone being able to move through, you know, not detect as they try to move, and that makes, that increases the likelihood that a company has a problem. So it sounds as though it's increasingly important, you think, in terms of a fabric that is capable of observing how people are getting in here, trying to get in there, and has awareness of how the different security infrastructures actually work together. Yeah, uh, definitely. I think one of the critical points about security is uh, knowing. Uh, so you have to know uh, whatever the people, you have to know whatever kind of device, where they are, uh, because we know today that uh, it's just not uh, limited to a country. It's a cyber, uh, cyber security is about uh, world attack, so we see a lot of attack coming from foreign countries. So, and you have, to, you have to build a system that can uh, collect those information, react on time, and I think the different components, they are working together because often you can, the threats can come from email attachment, but it can be, it can be a different approach or IPS attacks or DDoS attack, but because those threats are always uh, combined in the system, so you cannot detect at the email, so potentially they will be going through the system and without having a system that communicates all together, you can don't know that this IP address has been already flagged as a potential problems, why the email is going through. So it's all about having the system that are automated and, and be able to have this global view. Uh, I think it's a very important aspect because it's not just US-centric uh, uh, attack and, and be able to quickly provide the value to the decision maker because we have also less people on the security operation center due to the lack of uh, skill, uh, the, the skill shortage. So 
the information has to go to these people in a very efficient way and already highlight uh, the the importance of the attacks, whatever the so it's that's how we can really reduce the time to detect and reduce the time to act. You both mentioned the skill shortage and that was actually mentioned in the keynote of the general session session this morning. Is it the expectation that of Fortinet and your partners that it has to be technology that's going to solve for that skill shortage? Yeah, well, we, I think we, we participate also to try to resolve part of the skill uh, shortage. Uh, we, we have launched, we call the NSC uh, program, which is a certification that we launched. And we had about 60,000 uh, right now certified engineers in the world. And it has been growing. In fact, just last year, we had about 34,000. So it has been growing fast. And we see there is a big requirement about acquiring this knowledge, which is becoming very complex. Because every, every I would say, month, you have a new system, you attack. So you have to, to, to be trained almost ongoing. And, and the level of the expertise is very high. So it's not like uh, 20 years ago where a firewall just like uh, blocking a system. So easy to understand, easy for engineers to understand like people doing networking uh, you know, management. Security is much more complex. That's required this ongoing training and, and knowledge transfer to keep the people at the highest level. So one of the things, Peter, you and I were talking about is that the security conversation is a board level, boardroom conversation. From a partner community perspective, are you seeing within the partner and the customer base that there is now an expectation that we're already compromised, we've got to now limit damage. Is that kind of a broad expectation that most comp companies and industries have today? Yeah, definitely. I think the people and company recognize that anyway, they have been attacked, they, there is an issue. Um, they are, and the role of the CISO inside the company is becoming very important. They have to talk to, it's, it's a kind of business enabler. So it's not just like a compliance is, uh, answer where before they was they was there to just to check in fact a box on whatever SOX compliances or SCADA or so it's now they have to help the other business unit manager to run the company and to transform the company to the digital age. Yeah, let me build on a couple of points that are being made here um, very quickly. So the I, first off, going back to the question of is technology crucial? The digital business means that there will be greater demands on the security capabilities of the business. We cannot expect most business people to become smart about security because this is very technical, hard stuff. We have to therefore make that capability more productive and the only way to do it is through technology. And that's, and, and, and that has become, the, the board is now aware of that. That the board recognizes, most boards recognize that security in a digital world is a strategic business capability. It's tied to your brand, it's tied to your products, it's tied to the promises you're making to the marketplace. And that if you, and to your point, Lisa, they also recognize that they are constantly under attack, that they are being, that there are intrusions, and the, the need is to limit those intrusions by taking a system approach to it. Yeah. And so this notion of a platform is really, really crucial to delivering on what the board needs, a set of realistic, strategic security capabilities that the business can count on. Yeah, definitely, and I think you may have learned this morning one of our uh, customer, a uh, big financial uh, bank in the US, which uh, he implemented in fact, or the, the, the fabric in fact, and he has been able to measure the reduction of uh, internal uh, threats, uh, which was one of the auditors say, well, what's happened? So the, your system's not working? In fact, it was the benefit of implementing the fabric. Um, so definitely, yeah, they recognize there is an ongoing problem inside the network because as we also say, uh, last year, it's no longer just the, you have to protect the perimeter. The, the threats come from inside, can be from employees. So we also, with the fabric, we are able to create what we call internal segmentation. So try to protect the data where they are as, as the closest. And then also look about who is accessing to the data and then flag to the relevant people if there is you know, anomaly and, and, uh, and, and I would say uh, normal activity around those uh, access of the data because as this evolution, the value is all about the data. So you have to protect the data, and um, that's the challenge of the, uh, of the system. So it's, it's complex. Um, that's also require collaboration. So we do collaborate with a third company, so we exchange, we're also the alliance founder for the cyber threats uh, community. Um, and we also expand our fabric, because we feel that the, the security fabric 
will be at the heart of the security uh, strategy. And then, because security has to talk about application, about networks, you, you go all, inside all the system. So we built this uh, fabric ready program and onboard a lot of uh, other vendors. Uh, and, and that's the value of the, for our customer as well because then we can automate it, the, uh, the, the, the security and potentially the rules that can need to be implemented after an attack going to the potentially the network device. So it's, um, it's uh, just a, a team effort. Uh, I don't think that fortunate by themselves we can resolve the problem. It's a, com it's a combination of uh, knowledge, people, other peers in the industry, and then we can really try to go against the threats that we know will have always to chase. So here we are, last word giving Patrice to you at Accelerate 2017, great buzz here, you can hear it and see it behind us. 700 partners here, end users. The announcement that came out today, what excites you most about this, this new year, this 2017, for Fortinet and being able to help customers truly transform to a digital business and trust their data? What's most exciting to you? Well, I think it's definitely we are. There is a lot of uh, feedback where we feel that what we built in the last 16 years in terms of technology uh, came to a very strong uh, value proposition today. And uh, that's moving so fast, and there is only few vendors, in fact, on this industry that can do it. In fact, we, we feel that we are the only one on the security space. Uh, and that's, that's the echo I got from all the end user, but as well as the partner, you can see they are growing fast. So yes, uh, good promise for 17. And as, as a sales leader, of course, we're expecting great results. <laughs> Excellent, Patrice Persh, thank you so much for joining. Peter, thank you. thank you for joining as well. We thank you for watching theCUBE. We are live at Fortinet's Accelerate 2017 and we'll be right back.